to a medallic moment from Northwest Territorial Mint and Medallic Art Company. I'm your host, Rob Vugtaveen. Today, most Americans think of April 15th as the day they've got to get their taxes done. But on that date in 1912, in the North Atlantic Ocean, a night of heroism and tragedy unfolded as the RMS Titanic sank to the bottom after striking an iceberg at the cost of more than 1,500 lives. The story of that sinking has been told and retold in countless books, news stories, films, documentaries. But did you know that the story has also been told in solid gold? That night, the British passenger steamship RMS Carpathia was headed east from New York City under the command of Captain Arthur Henry Rostrum. Heeding the distress call, Rostrum sped through the same ice field encountered by Titanic and he and his crew rescued more than 700 survivors. When no more could be found, he turned the Carpathia around and sailed back to New York City. Grim news of the disaster reached the world almost immediately by radio telegraphy. A day before the Carpathia arrived in port on April 18th, Michigan Senator William Alden Smith convened a Senate hearing to investigate the sinking. Upon arriving in New York City, Passengers and crew from the Carpathia and survivors from the Titanic were escorted to the Waldorf Astoria Hotel to be interviewed. The testimony of Captain Rostron regarding the sinking, the rescue efforts, and the loss of life was so detailed and so gripping that it is said to have brought grown men to tears. The final report of the investigation was presented to the Senate on May 28th during which Senator Smith proposed three pieces of legislation. Two dealt with major changes to maritime safety regulations. The third was a joint resolution with the U.S. House of Representatives allocating $1,000 to present Captain Rostrum with the highest honor they could bestow upon him, the Congressional Gold Medal. The resolution passed by unanimous acclamation without ever being referred to committee. New York sculptor John Flanagan was commissioned to design the metal, and he prepared these early plaster models of each side. Captain Rostron sat in John Flanagan's studio for a few days while the sculptor fashioned the portrait design. For the other side, Flanagan would use his mastery of the medium of bas relief to tell the story of both the victims and the survivors of the terrible event. Mr. Flanagan would make few changes to the wording on both sides before the design was finished. But there was a problem. In 1912, the United States Mint did not have the technology or equipment to cut dies from models as large as these. But in New York City, the recently incorporated Medallic Art Company had a Jean Vier die reduction panograph shown here in this 1929 black and white film which could use those models as a pattern to precisely reduce and cut the three-dimensional image into the steel dies that would strike the gold medal. The dies cut by Medallic Art Company were then taken to the U.S. Mint in Philadelphia, where this solid gold medal was struck. On March 1, 1913, President William Howard Taft presented the Congressional Gold Medal to Captain Rostron at a White House ceremony. Three days later, Mr. Taft left office at the end of his presidential term. Almost two decades later, Mr. Flanagan would design the original image of George Washington for the 1932 quarter dollar coin, a form of which still appears in your pocket change today. The Congressional Gold Medal presented to Captain Rostron is now preserved in the Merseyside Maritime Museum in Liverpool, England. But the archive of Medallic Art Company has a finished bronze version of the medal, struck from the same original dies as Captain Rostron's Congressional Gold Medal. We know of no other copies that exist. It is an extraordinary example of how Medallic Art Company, from its earliest days until now, has helped recognize, honor, and celebrate the great achievements of individuals and organizations in a way that will endure for centuries, even for millennia.
The same high quality craftsmanship that went into the Congressional Gold Medal for Captain Rostron is still used by Northwest Territorial Mint and Medallic Art today. Your next award project can be part of that same great legacy. Just give us a call. Thanks for watching. Join us next time for another Medallic Moment. <music>